Warning, do not upgrade, salvage, do anything to your gear until you see this video. I should have made this video earlier and explained everything to you guys, but there is actually a problem in the game with the way that they explain whether or not something is in fact an upgrade or not. What the game determines is an upgrade and what's going to influence you on whether or not you're salvaging le legendary pieces of gear, set gear, etc. I want to prove this to you right now so you can understand what I'm saying. In this game, there's combat rating, the most important stat in the game. It is what dictates whether or not you're gonna be able to do challenge rifts at all, and it's also gonna dictate if you're gonna be able to go with the higher difficulties and do the higher difficulty dungeons, etc. It's basically the gate of which content is released. So because of this, combat rating is the stat we seek mostly. Now, if we're trying to get more combat rating, we can very easily see where to get it because it comes from strength, intelligence, fortitude, vitality, willpower. You're gonna get combat rating as well as the other stats, potency, armor, life, etc., by getting these substats. So because we know that combat rating is the most important, plus these substats gives you the other stats, what really is the most important is your attributes, the strength, intelligence, fortitude, vitality, etc. Now, if we go to a piece of equipment, try to follow along with me here because this is important. You're gonna notice it's 77 willpower, 77 strength. Okay, with one magic effect, the score is 3349. So if we go over here and we click on this other piece of gear, look at this, 78 vitality, 77 strength, damage done to players increased by 1%, damage taken from players reduced by 2%. Well, this is one higher of the stat. Uh, so I wonder why this one's not rated higher attribute. Or, you know, it, you would think that this would be an upgrade. Like, why are they not telling us this one's an upgrade? If I wear this, okay, now you would think, okay, well, maybe it was because this one had 2%, this one had 1%, but now this one's got your death party members for 3% of their life, has 78 vitality and 78 strength. So this one's now an upgrade. But technically, this magic is probably the better one. Your death healing your party members for 3% of their life? How is that? going to be good, but we still want the combat rating, so we're going to go with that one, okay? Now, now it tells us that none of these are actual upgrades at all, but this one here doesn't even have a set bonus because this is the reserve piece of gear. So if I wear this one, now the, this one, now it tells me I don't need to equip this one. So why would it, why would it tell me that I don't need to equip this one if this one here is factually better than the other one? They're both set pieces and it's a better piece, but this one's an upgrade to that one. It doesn't make sense because the game is actually weighing. What it's doing is it's weighing the magic pieces like your death heals your party member, slow resistance. It's weighing those at different invisible, not like we can't see what it weighs it at in terms of the score. So it's influencing those huge up arrows to let you know which one an upgrade. The up arrows are typically correct and they're close enough to typically correct that you might just mindlessly believe they're always correct. But as you can see here, that's not always the case. You actually have to look at it and figure it out for yourself each case individually. So you might be getting pieces and they might say they're worse, but they might actually factually just be better, not only for your build, but they might straight up have more combat rating and it just doesn't give you the green up arrow. So be really careful basically is what I'm saying Pull up the calculator or something if you want to do quick maths and just type in what all the pieces are so you can know what's better. And also there's one other point I want to make, which is damage is a really important, important stat and life's a really important stat. Life isn't mitigated in PvP, neither is damage, okay? But combat rating is capped, etc. So you might want to pick something also that has strength or intelligence or whatever your primary stat is, because your primary stat is going to increase your damage as well. And your damage is going to who would have guessed, make you do more damage, which is sort of the whole point of what we're trying to do literally anyway. So it might also be worth it sometimes, even if it has a green up arrow, because it has one more stat, it might actually be one more combat rating, but you're losing an entire line worth of damage increase or something like that. So it's not always the best to follow the in-game information is where I'm coming at you today with this point. Pretty basic information, but honestly, it's something I should have done in a warning or tip or mistake video or whatever I call these type of videos earlier, because it's an easy mistake to make. I was still making this up until somewhat recently when really honestly the comments were pointing out to me. I was just kind of mindlessly going through it and doing it, but you definitely need to pay attention. Look at the magic stats, because the magic stats here are weighed so much more heavily. Damage on the player, death by party, etc. They're going to weigh these way too high when really the ones that matter are this first row.
That's it. Love y'all. Thanks for subscribing so much. I'm going to be picking a winner for the $100 Legendary Crest giveaway for the subscribers because we hit 50,000 subs. I'll be announcing that probably on the next video or in the Discord here by this weekend. Love y'all. See you in the next video.